Hello Taurus and welcome to your June reading. I'd like to say a big, big thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. I'm really, really grateful. And if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, then do please click that like button because um, that way it helps my channel enormously. I will put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So Taurus, do check out Anything Spiritual and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button with my sister. <clears throat> okay, Taurus, let's see what June... Oh, we've got the Three of Swords jump out there. Let's see what June has got in store for you. Okay, so we've got the Four of Cups here. Now, this card is in the placement of your recent past. So, in the last few weeks, Taurus, you may have found yourself reminiscing, looking back over recent events, looking back over the past. And you're looking back with some kind of emotional aspect. You can see the water spilt here. So this could be something that you've lost, um, some kind of loss in some way, some kind of hurt. And you're looking back and it's like you cannot get it out of your mind. No matter how many times people say to you, forget the past, move on, it's done. It's like you just can't forget it. And the more and more that you can see yourself just constantly looking back, constantly looking back, you're not seeing this cup here right in front of you being filled up. So it's saying, Taurus, be careful that you're not too wrapped up in the past, that you're missing the present, you're missing the here and the now, because the present is the most important time. Because like people may tell you, you can't change the past. It's gone. You can't do anything with the future because it hasn't arrived yet. So the present is so important because what you do today is what will affect your future. So you have to be present in the moment. You have to be conscious of where you are right now, the people who are in your life right now, the offers and opportunities that are available to you right now. Be aware of the present and be focused and awake and alert in the present so you don't miss any opportunities that could really make a good impact for your future. Now, June, Taurus can see you tackling quite a lot of obstacles. You've got the seven of wands here and you can see the pathway in front of this person. It's blocked and he's rushing at it. And in his rush to go and knock these down, he's put odd shoes on. So Taurus, this card says to you in the month of June, don't rush when you need to tackle any kind of minor problems or obstacles. And that's what they do feel like minor. Take your time when tackling them. This could just be delays. This could just be things just not going your way. Because if you go and tackle a problem and you rush it and you don't think it through, you're going to make a mistake like this person has. They put odd shoes on. So it's saying don't be in too much of a rush. Don't be in too much of a panic to force things, to make things happen. Take your time. Take your time, Taurus, and let things happen in their natural flow. That way you won't miss anything and you won't make any mistakes. What's helping you is your tremendous strength. You are so strong. You might not realise it, Taurus. You might be sitting there thinking, I don't feel strong. But you are strong. And there is a lot of strength around you, particularly when it comes to your future and looking forward and looking and hoping for this new future. Once you stop thinking about the past and you start concentrating on the future, you'll realise you're in a much stronger position than you thought you was. 
you really thought you were down and out on your look. But when you start focusing, you start to think, oh, actually, I'm, I'm in a better position than I thought I was. Things aren't as bad as bad as what I thought they was. It just all seems bad in the moment. And my advice to you is victory. And again, the sixes is all about strength. Strength after changes and family around you as well, Taurus. So you are victorious just by the lovely friends and family and the support network that you've got around you. Because Taurus, you do have a good network of people around you. Again, you might not think you have at the minute, but you have. They help you to be strong and they will help you with this victory because they are a good source of support and that just makes you feel so much stronger, so much more victorious and in a good position because you've got good people around you. Now your future Taurus, in June, particularly when you get to the end of June, you may be thinking about this disappointment here with the Three of Swords. I'm going to pull another card over that because I want to know a bit more about this Three of Swords. I don't like ending a reading on a negative card. So I'm just going to pull a bit more and let's see what we get with it. It's judgment. So Taurus, again, this may be another reason with the Four of Cups while you've been looking back. You may be looking back over a decision that you made or the way that you dealt with the situation in the past and you're probably regretting something that you said or did because you're quite a practical star sign and you can be quite responsible. So you may be blaming yourself. But, you know, you need to move on from that because you can't change it. So all this can do is help you to make better decisions in the future, to make better judgments. And sometimes in life, the decisions that we make, they're not going to please everybody. You're never going to make everybody happy. But as long as you make decisions, Taurus, that are fair and just to everybody involved, as long as you try to always do your best, and to have the best outcome, and you don't set out to maliciously hurt somebody, then nobody can ask any more of you. So as long as you know that what you did, the decisions that you did, and the decisions that you made, and, th and the things that you put in place, you did it with the best intentions, then, you know, that's all somebody can hope for. I've got some spirit. I've got some spirit animal oracle cards here. So I'm just going to give those a shuffle and let's see, Taurus, what we pull for you. You've got the butterfly transformation. Be ready for that big breakthrough. And I really feel this is a mental breakthrough, Taurus, because it's like you're really being hard on yourself at the minute, looking back you know, upset with decisions that you made, upset with the life that you might have lived or things that you did, but you can't change it. So you're going to have this big breakthrough moment, this transformation when you realise, when you finally, finally realise that the things that you did in the past, you made the decisions at that time with the knowledge that you had and the information that you had. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. But you're not the person now that you was back then. You've learned so much more in the meantime. You've got so much more knowledge. So nowadays, when you've got to make the decision or do something like you did in the past, you'll make a better decision because you're a different person and you've got a different set of knowledge. You've got different life skills now. So stop being too hard on yourself because your past is where it is in the past. And you did what you did because that was the person you was back then. That was all you knew. You thought you were doing the right thing. 
So stop being too hard on yourself and have that big, big breakthrough and that transformation when you grow into the next stage and you realise that what is happening around you now and your future is where you should be concentrating your life on.